Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, traditional, not traditional, but Red Dead Online stream, and it's a part of level 1 to level 100 journey, I created a new character, anyway, it's a part 8, I believe, and today on the stream, I'm gonna be focusing on Bounty Hunter, I want to level up Bounty Hunter as much as possible, earn some extra gold, uh, kind of... I will be watching Trader Roll, which I bought on a previous uh, stream. I will be, you know, leveling uh, leveling it up, making deliveries time to time, uh, ordering, not ordering, but making resupply missions. But I'm not going to be focusing on it. I'm not going to be rushing it. I will focus on Bounty Hunter today. So anyway, I hope everything works. Uh, because chat is not moving for some reason. Now Todor says hi. 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 So, okay, chat is moving. Good. Hopefully everything works. And, uh, oh, nice. We already can complete a resupply mission. You know, when you leveling up, it's better to make resupply missions. I think they give more experience. So, now resupply mission, then I will get a little bit materials, and then I will just place my camp somewhere in a highland, uh, highlands, and uh, there I will be grinding infamous bounties, you know, and time to time visiting my camp. So, I, actually, by the way, it's a pretty good resupply mission, because here we have to steal uh, a wagon. Wagon gives you 20 materials, so it's good. So yeah, guys, hello and welcome. Thanks to everyone who placed a like already. How you grind gold quickly? Well, if you want to grind gold quickly, you need to focus on easy awards and treasure maps, like easy awards like uh, like this one. Kills with a bow headshot. There are some few few others like selling herbs to a doctor. Uh, then uh, pretty important one is killing few animals with one explosion. So you on practice you just need to throw dynamite into fish. And let's go. And obviously, do not forget about treasure maps. Tommy says, Hi all, you're uh, an infam infamous content creator. Oh, now you can hear my infamous cat. I actually, uh, I'm a little, I was a little late on the stream, like a few minutes late, because when... <laughs> You're not gonna believe it and it sounds stupid, but when I was going to a room to start the stream, suddenly Cat jumped out of the corner and like literally hit my leg that was moving with his head. It, it's like, like no one can believe, will believe this, but it's really happened. It, it was so weird. So, it's like, uh, you know... And now he's just running around and saying meow, meow, meow. I mean, he 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 went a little crazy today. I don't know why. And yeah, as you can see, I'm killing. Uh, tr ah, I'm trying to kill these enemies with a bow, uh, just because I want to get this award. So anyway, looting everyone. Okay, well, you know what? Let's not even loot. Let's uh, let's deliver. Our cat's your favorite animal. Um, well, probably yes. Please, how help? How to get Isabella map? Well, I assume you want to do a Isabella glitch, right? Uh, well, there is no way, from what I know, to receive a specific map. Uh, but there is a way to grind treasure maps. It's actually time-consuming, 
So basically how it works. Every time you start a delivery in a private lobby, so there is a method to do it. Uh, if you don't know it, uh, go check my channel. So anyway, when you when you start a long, uh, not even long distance delivery, but it's better to do with long distance deliveries. And you are somewhere in a hotlands. Uh, you have increased chance of uh, seeing a random encounter. And uh, in a hotlands, there are a lot of random encounters with treasure seekers. So what do you basically do you place a camp you check uh using red dead online interactive map where these random encounters could happen with treasure seekers or treasure hunters i don't know how like what what is this oh okay it, it was lagging for some time you place a camp there then you start a delivery and make a delivery but try to go through the possible uh locations where these treasure uh, hunters can treasure seekers I think can appear okay now let's go and complete some some legendary bounty and and th the method is basically that when you just join the solo lobby and especially when you make a delivery you have like really increased chance of see a random encounter and since there are not too many different encounters quite often you will just get that treasure map and uh, actually it works the same if you want to find legendary animals you just need to place your camp close to a legendary animal uh, spawn uh, locations Does mod mod mods crush your game? I don't know. Like you, back in the day, they definitely could. I think right now they also can. Like mod menu users can crush your game. Cat, what level are you currently? Almost level thirty-five. So it means uh, Nakadoches soon will be purchased. Let's feed the horse. Treasure maps spawn on trees too. Yeah, but on like on trees Like you need to check interactive map, but usually on trees uh, they spawn in this area and Most treasure a lot of treasure hunters spawn in this area in hotlands So like if you will place your camp like anywhere here and will start a delivery in a solo lobby there is a quite high chance that you will see either treasure seeker or a map on a tree especially if you don't have naturalist troll because like a uh, legendary animal cannot spawn to you yet so let's go you know what let's let's begin with some legendary bounty completed very quick Legendary Bounty is a great way to uh, to level up. Yeah, let's go for Jean Bo Finley. Let's go for him. I have not, I haven't completed this Legendary Bounty yet. Let's start a timer. Wait a second. What level are hooded steel wraps unlocked? I don't remember. Like, but it's. 54 or 55 something like this much uh, later than Nakadoches actually Gee, And there oh, we go <laughs> Damn, I'm starting to wish I kept this It's one of the three legendary I'm bounties I'm available for God. prestigious bounty I'm hunter role not the best one out of these three in my opinion like i like shepherd mission much more but you know is it first try uh, time uh, you try to restart red dead online no it's not the first time it's like my fifth second character 
Can you do the first poll? I don't have a question yet. Okay, starting, starting timer. Ahilia says, PvP, would you ever consider growing your hair like Jean Bo Finley? I actually consider that, but you know, growing a hair is uh, is quite of a a task, <laughs> not an easy task. Okay, there we go. Let's try stealth approach. I never actually bothered with stealth approach in this mission just because you can just go and kill everyone. No problem at all. But let's try. Maybe I, I can do it. It just looks like it's one of the easiest legendary bounties if you just go with a brute force. Just would go and kill everyone. But okay, considering how these enemies are located, like I see three enemies like really close to each other. If they are not moving, then there is not a chance I can complete it in stealth. Like right ahead. Okay, let's make few kills. Just in case. Oh, oh, oh. As for this, no one actually looks this way. Let's try. Let's try. Today's poll should PvP grow his hair out and dye it blonde in honor? of grind to level 100 <laughs> that's a weird poll idea not gonna lie okay now we now we're in a situation where like way too many enemies are staying pretty close to each other okay this one i think no one looks at him now So yeah, I can kill him safely. You play as a new character? Yes, I try to level up and... Oh no. So... As always with stealth approach, pretty soon we're going back to plan B. And plan B is just to kill everyone. That's like typical plan B. It's a, it's a shame that I'm I'm here from this side of the manor. Uh, just because it's not the best position for sniper rifle. And actually, I don't see enemies at all. I think it's... Ah, it's a fog or something, I don't see enemies. Lantern. Like, really don't see anything. Oh, machine gun. No. Need to kill him as fast as possible, obviously. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome to everyone who joins. Today, focus will be on legendary... Not not on legendary, on infamous bounty missions. Oh, no. There was a pretty big explosion. I should not stay uh, close to uh, explosions, but the problem is, like, because of fog and because everything is so, like, yellow, 
Uh, I don't see anything <laughs> on the screen, but I actually like to, uh, like really, I don't see anything. So annoying. Tak Vakin says, Cat, I love your streams. We wish I wasn't at work so I could watch. Yeah. If you're on work, well it's I mean you technically you can listen, but it's still better to focus to focus on work. The problem is uh, with entering this house is that I don't see like literally anything. So I shot some enemy but I haven't seen him. And some of them have shotguns, if I remember correctly. No one there. So, I think they're upstairs. Would, I wish Rockstar would add more DLC. Well, you mean DLC for a story? Unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. But I mean... That would be cool, if that would happen, they would add more DLCs, but... But no. Okay, so, but at least we killed everyone. Where is Jean? Je Jean. Oh, there he is. You're very good at sniper. Is the free aim free in this mode? Well, it's uh, I'm playing on PC, so I have uh, free aim everywhere in every mode. Um, but uh, like usually, if I remember correctly, in this new, not new, but you know, free uh, prestigious bounty hunter. Uh, legendary bounties. Uh, there is a forced free aim on a console only on higher difficulties. So maybe uh, on f four dollars and five dollars. I don't remember, guys, but like there is a forced free aim even on consoles in these three legendary bounty missions. But on which levels, I don't know. Uh, it's LNZ says on four and five stars indeed. Yeah, I was I was not sure about three star missions, but Probably only on four and five stars But this mission is still pretty simple even it like just pick up sniper rifle and and you you, you will be fine Does horseman card work even for cards or wagons? I don't know actually it's an interesting question. I don't think I ever tested it. I mean, in theory, it shouldn't. I think it shouldn't. But never tested it. How to capture Virgil Edwards with five stars? Uh, okay, so... You can Google, uh, not Google, but search on my channel, like, three best uh, legendary bounties. I have step-by-step -step guide for uh, Virgil Edwards, Etta Doyle, <laughs> and uh, Red Ben Clemson. But anyway, <clears throat> you can do it solo, let's say, like with a, with a, with a guide. Oh, no, 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 no. I hope he's alive. Let's kill a little bit of enemies. Like a few. Oh, I actually need to make a headshot with a bow. Loot them and then continue our journey. 
You use a voice changer? No. I don't have any voice changer, I don't have any filters on a voice, that's how my voice sounds. I don't know, maybe microphone is lagging now uh, or something and my voice sounds differently, but it's not because I'm using any voice changer. Uh, are you taking him to the concert so he can perform? Bo Finley? He looks like a Brad Pitt to me. That's just his accent. Yeah, but I mean like voice changer is not really giving you an accent. Oh, you know what? Let's deliver him to Rhodes and then we will go <clears throat> place camp in Lagra and gather a lot of materials by simply by killing alligators. How can I have two revolvers? Well, first of all, you need to reach level 25. Then you go to uh, any weaponsmith, weapon store, and you purchase the second holster. Be careful, like, it's in, uh, like there are bandoliers, then weapon belts. You don't need another weapon belt. You need another second holster. It's called offhand holster. You buy it, buy the cheapest one. Uh, the first one will be available to you on level 25. And then you save this holster on your outfit. And then you go buy second uh, revolver. Oh, no, 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 not again. So here we go. Actually, exactly 12 minutes. Actually, 11.59. Now, exactly 12 minutes. So, you know what? Let's deliver. I'm not gonna be waiting. 12 minutes is, is, is good time. What other games do you play? Let me think. This week I was playing Overwatch, Magic the Gathering... And something else, but I forgot. Oh, GTA Online. I played GTA Online. Actually, quite a lot this week I I, I played. I enjoyed this uh, new Clucking Bell raid. So I played it a few times. To make a proper English V sound, uh, go make it as an F sound, but voice it instead of just I rate it. Boom. Now your V's don't sound like V's. Okay, I will try. The problem is, like, uh, in my native language, there is no... There is only one sound. That's why, uh, I guess I have this issue. Maybe not this one, that's why. Cat loves Starfield, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no cup. Let's go and place camp somewhere here and le let's just like grind as much as possible legend uh, not legendary but just alligator pelts. Jokes aside, I received Starfield for free. I got a review copy and I still think that it's like I overpaid for it. It's just Starfield is I, re I wanted to enjoy this game badly, like really, I really like uh, Fallout, Sirius, and actually Elder Scrolls, you know, pretty much everything that Bethesda were doing. I, I played like enormous amount of time in Elder Scrolls Online, but Starfield is just something different. You should try Cyberpunk. I completed Cyberpunk when it was first released, but I guess I should uh, try uh, this new DLC. So what? Uh, so what? Next best troll are you going? Next troll are you going to buy? Well, I assume it's gonna be collector next month because take a look. Right now I have four gold bars. 
I will have definitely 15 gold bars uh, pretty soon. Uh, but I guess I will wait until April and just purchase collector roll with a discount. I'm, at this point, I'm almost 100% sure that it's gonna be month of a collector roll. If Microsoft pay you for playing Starfield on stream, would do you pay? Depends on how much. <laughs> Depends on how much they would pay me. But uh, it's just it's just not a good game. All, all can I? What can I say? Like and. At the beginning, it was kind of interesting situation because, like a lot of, on Twitter and everywhere, I don't know, maybe they were paid accounts or just uh, simply fanboys. They were aggressively defending Starfield, like aggressively. Everyone who was saying anything bad about Starfield in the first few days after release was attacked, like, oh, you stupid! It's a space. It should be boring. There should be nothing to do. It should be infamous, lo uh, in uh, infamous, uh, infinite loading screens and stuff like that. But you know, statistics about Starfield is not lying because, like, extremely soon, amount of people playing just dropped to almost zero. I don't see any alligators. Like, it's pretty lame. Do I buy Moonshine or Roll? I'm level 73. Obviously, buy Moonshine or Roll. It's it's a it's a great roll. Yeah. Xbox fanboys on Twitter are truly absolute toxic shields. Well, not only Xbox uh, fanboys, like all fanboys on Twitter. There are, you know, there are PlayStation fanboys, there are Rockstar fanboys, and I I'm telling you, they're terrible. Rockstar fanboys on Twitter is just, like, especially after Rockstar announced, uh, officially announced GTA 6 and showed trailer, oh my god, now... They, like, they have the best time, because, like, now you can every day say how, how great Rockstar are. And <laughs> it would make sense. So anyway, in my opinion, being a fanboy is like uh, it's toxic by its nature. So it doesn't matter what people are shilling for. Microsoft, PlayStation, Rockstar, or Ubisoft. You're not gonna believe this, but even Ubisoft has fanboys. Okay, alligators are just not here. So let's let's go and find some other animals. Will you try Ghost of Tsushima? Yes, for sure. I'm actually uh, I knew that at some point they will release it on PC, but I was I still was surprised when I saw that it will be released like this May, and I will I will pre-order it and will definitely play it. No animals anywhere. I don't see any animals, that's the thing, and you know what, it's really weird because I'm actually in a private lobby, and in a private lobby, enemies just don't disappear, it's not, it's something that usually happens in the public lobbies. Like, take a look, there are no birds, no frogs, no alligators. I think this bounty breaks animal spawns. It happens with some activities. Yeah, it's quite possible. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do and start uh, infamous bounty mission. It will it will place us in a, in a, another solo lobby, and then it should be fine. Archario says, one more day until stream sale. Cannot wait to get this game. Well, yeah, if you're talking about Red Dead Redemption 2, it's like almost for sure uh, there will be a discount on Red Dead Redemption 2 full game. Maybe there will be discount on Red Dead Online standalone as well, but still I don't suggest you to buy Red Dead Online standalone. I mean, 
with discount standalone costs ten dollars and full game will cost you 19.89 or something just buy just spend this extra 10 bucks and buy the full game so yeah Uh, did you try Helldivers? Not yet. I'm getting the whole game. That's the great choice. I mean, I I'm not quite sure who even buys standalone at this point. Uh, the only reason to buy standalone is if uh, standalone has discount and you just want to create a second second account on the same platform on PC. That's the only reason, like, literally. Do you think Red Dead Redemption 3 could be with McCallender as main protagonist? I think it's one of the main, actually, it's one of the most uh, possible uh, protagonists. Buy the full game, says the guy who refused to do sadly campaign missions. Well, how it, what it has to do that I don't like sadly. Plus, I completed these missions. Just later. Okay, so we're completing infamous bounty. Hopefully, after this infamous bounty, you know, animals will appear again. My camp is here, so I hope Creeps is working. Cat, don't forget to buy Nakodochus. Oh, yeah. Uh, after this mission, after I, I, I'm, I'm already level 35, so I not only need to buy Nakodochus, I also uh, have to pick up uh treasure map i i should receive another treasure map and maybe it's time to go and search for these treasures actually so by the way daily challenges what do we have as bounty hunter challenges loot it we will do this and eagle eye used to track it's actually uh in this mission i will complete this uh, daily challenge because i'm gonna be tracking him with eagle eye Hi, hi, cat. Have you ever played the game without while drunk? Obviously, yes. Who, who didn't? Oh, you see, you can complete it like even in this mission. Easy, easy challenge. Caro UK says, hi all, just finished work. Oh, it's it's actually almost 7 o'clock now, yeah. I started a little bit later today, started stream, but like... I don't know, guys, by the way. It's actually something I want to ask in the chat, like, which time is uh, better for you to start, to watch stream, okay? When it's that uh, time uh, that will be in a, in a poll is, uh, like, GM, GMT plus zero. Uh, best time for streams. GMT plus zero, it's uh, Greenwich Meridian time. So right now, uh, I will I will take it now, 18 p.m. Now 6 p.m. Now 6 p.m. 6.37 actually. Uh, so, uh, best time is 16 o'clock. No, not 16, since I'm using p.m. 4 p.m. 5 p.m. 6 p.m. Other. 
let me know like like which to start to start this train like in your opinion have you seen online bonuses this week? Uh, is that like they change in every week actually? They change in only every month? Have I already completed this daily challenge? Ah, it's because I'm, I'm tracking the same bounty target. That's why it's not completed yet. It's just like usually I start around 5 p.m. but I'm not I'm not always like can start so I'm like you know sometimes I need to hurry up to start the stream at 5 p.m. so I, I just thought that it's the best time for viewers but like without asking how do I know Just give your vote. Give your opinion. Hey, cat, do you live in the UK? No, but I also have the same time zone. Loot him and knock him out. Randy Page says 5 p.m. is perfect for me. It's just like you know, sometimes uh, I can start only at 5 30, and again, this fog, I don't see anything. So, someone is shooting me, but I don't see. Maybe it was not even a bandit because someone is shooting from here. Oh, there we go. Uh, so anyway, sometimes I can start only at 5.30, but I'm like, oh no, it's too late. Maybe I should hurry up. But again, I'm not sure. That's why I decided to ask. I mean... Hey Cat, I've been seeing a lot of your videos and they helped a lot. Keep up good work, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Karuke says, interesting poll. I, I actually love it when you stream about 1 p.m. because I can half watch while working. But yeah, but yeah, I also love to stream at 1 p.m. But at 1 p.m. like there are literally no viewers on YouTube. <laughs> uh, yesterday I worked 14 plus hours till... Uh, uh, after 10 p.m. though, so just watch when I can Well 15 plus hours. It's a It's a crunch. It's almost a crunch It's not almost a crunch. It sounds like a crunch 15 plus hours Okay, let's deliver him and go to a camp. As always, I forgot to start my own timer. But I assume it should be something around 9 minutes now. Right? Yeah, forgetting to start a timer is, is, a, is a pretty bad mistake, actually. Uh, 188 watching, but only 53 likes. Marcos says. By the way, thanks to everyone who placed these likes. And thanks to everyone who supports me on YouTube membership, YouTube super chat and uh, Patreon, obviously. So, let's see if I was correct about 9 minutes in this mission. No, I was not. Should have waited a little bit. Anyway, now let's go to camp and uh, actually, hopefully there will be some animals. I will set production going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to visit stables first. I need to buy Nacogdoches. 
I have money, I have level. So let's go and get Nacogdoches and just forget about all the issues with not having stamina and stuff. And immediately 140 likes. Apparently that was not updated information about 53 likes because I doubt that the, it's possible to receive like so many likes in just a, in just one minute. So horses, manage owned horses, cattle, saddle, add saddle, nacodoches. Hmm, color. This one looks pretty good, like red and black. But I, I, I buy it for pretty much all my characters, so let's let's buy something different. This one looks decent. Nah. Okay, I will buy this one. Now, stirrups. And... Well, it's not the best stirrups, but I still, you know, cannot buy the best stirrups. Which are available only on level 54. So let's buy this and you know what? It will be enough to reach level 54. So no problems here. So and let's buy some provision. Let's buy also carrots. Maybe apples. And we're good. I have five of that red and black Nacogdoches. Red and black Nacogdoches just looks awesome. I, I buy it on pretty much all my characters. Also work to get the snowy agri trinket. It's uh, that's ten percent horse drain buffer. Well, the thing is, trinket only decreases core drain rate, not the bar drain rate. So it's like pretty useless. The only reason, like the only effect it has, you have to feed your horse less often, but. I like feeding horse when I'm not forgetting. So it's 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 just like there is no reason to chase or even buy this trinket to be honest. How many characters do you have? Uh five. Oh creeps is out of materials. Hopefully alligators are around. <clears throat> there here we are. We have alligators. Nice. Do you think Rockstar will add some new content to Red Dead Online soon? Soon? No. Okay, I don't need a good. Obviously, I, I just need the alligator tooth. I need to find a three-star alligator to get a belt. It's not. That's not a three-star as well. So anyway, soon definitely no. There will be no content soon because rocks are not testing anything. Oh, you need what else do I need? I also need a warm woman trifle. What? <laughs> I forgot to buy it. And uh, speaking about new content, the only chance to receive new content, not even soon, but at all, is is uh, if Rockstar will add next gen version. So that's the only scenario in which there might be. Okay, you know what? If I will if I will buy rifle right now it should appear just on my horse so maybe I will use it immediately but the problem is I don't think I will have ammo Oh I have it nice
back in the day i remember like in beta uh killing these birds and selling them to butcher was like the main and the best way of making money in red dead online no the die <laughs> the funny thing in the land of opportunities there are not much opportunities well yeah it is uh, there is some irony we can we can see here so by the way uh, daily challenge for trader roll which one is that donate deadly pre oh nice I need I need just one alligator skin belt not skin cat if you're still streaming at 1952 could you do trader road i cannot do it because like uh uh solo lobbyist is not letting me plus you know what my experience is it's one of my favorite uh it's one of my favorite free roam events but my experience recently from my second accounts were not pleasant in this event because there are way too many trolls nowadays you know the one that use lasso dynamite super annoying okay so let's go let's give him Let's give him some supplies so he can start producing. And also we get, you know, we get experience for each. A little bit, but still. Trolls ruined man, ruined man hunt for me. I mean, I, I don't know why this is even allowed. Like, why you can troll other people with... Uh, with dynamite or lasso in such modes. Rocks are should have fixed it long time ago. They did nothing. Labor of love because. Like really, it's not that hard to fix. Howdy cat, all the dark rainy weather in Red Dead Redemption 2 online makes me miss the story mode. I don't know why dark and rainy weather specifically. Okay, let's let's eat some food by Oh, maybe there are some daily challenges to eat food. Uh, animals trampled, crafted a tonic, deer skinned, defend the campsite. Oh, good. Oh, meat. Dry goods. Let's do this. By the way, a lot of uh, relatively easy daily challenges today. We're gonna be stomping animals, but first I want to set up production. Now let's eat some food. Let's see what do we have. Maybe we have some dry food here. No, it's not a dry food. I don't think if I have dry food at all. I probably don't. So I need to buy uh, candies. I think candies will count. So let's let's buy candies. A provision. Dry goods. Oh, here we go bread let's buy a lot so we can you know complete so we can complete this easy daily challenge next time when it will be in the game eat beans unfortunately beans uh they don't count as a dry food 
my cat is screaming. Oh, you eating food? What about me? And I'm, by the way, I should, I should have completed these daily challenges in some mission instead of doing them in a free room. But anyway, let's give creeps a little bit more materials. I saw three star alligator and and just and then go back to what my my horse is is scared of something. Oh, there is a snake, I, I assume. Whoops. I killed him so he will not scare my horse. Is it necessary to do all daily missions to get treasure map? No, you get like uh, only one treasure map is related to daily challenges at all is this one. Let me show you. So after if you will be doing daily challenges every day for 28 days, your daily challenge streak will be increasing like every week. So you will be receiving more gold for every daily challenge completed. And after 28 days, this trick will reset. You will receive $100 and the treasure map. That's only treasure map uh, related to daily challenges at all. And to receive it, it's enough to complete like one daily challenge, but for 28 days in a row. It's not like it's, you know, such a important reward or something but it exists okay so apparently i got all the three star alligators i think it should be enough for creeps this Okay, so that should be enough for creeps to do some some work. Now let's go and complete another daily challenge. Not another daily, but another infamous bounty mission. Should I use promotion to buy the medium trader wagon? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Use it. I mean, uh, you only start making money with trader roll after you will buy the large trader wagon. And the thing is, you cannot buy large tra trader wagon even if you have like level 10 in a trader roll. Unless you will have, you will purchase medium trader wagon before. So it's just like you will you will have to buy it anyway. Okay, so this these dudes were waiting for me. <laughs> they are apparently stealing someone. I'm not gonna interrupt interfere. So let's go to let's go to Emerald Station. We will place camp there, e and we will start uh, making infamous bounty chain there. What is the best role for you, collector or prestigious bounty? So let's place a camp here. In the hotlands, somewhere nearby, and let's complete three widows. You play in a solo lobby? Yeah, I'm playing on PC, so it's it's the only option actually. So wait a second, I will start a timer. Hi, Amara says hi.
Okay, I, I, I should change, switch to a bow now. How to make private lobby in Xbox? Unfortunately, unlike PC or PlayStation 4, Xbox don't have uh, stable solo lobby methods. All you can do is uh, make this uh, change appearance trick, you know. Uh, and then, you know, you do change appearance thing, then you go back to a lobby and and immediately it will be solo but not stable for a few minutes only and then you start long distance delivery it will give you uh pri basically a private lobby for for 25 minutes but that's that's the only option i mean on playstation you can uh you can use uh mtu method just limit your MTU settings on PlayStation. On PC, you can use uh, startup meta file. On Xbox, just no options, nothing you can do. Hi, Kyron says, wait, can you play in solo lobby? Yeah, yeah, just Google PlayStation Red Dead Online MTU solo lobby, MTU. You, you basically go to your PlayStation settings and change one setting and it will always place you in uh, solo lobbies. Do you recommend regular or improved bow? Well, I like improved bow because it has like pretty cool skins. And I always wanted customizable bow actually. So I was glad to see it. Oh, that's where she hides. I will track her. So I'm not gonna tie her up just yet. Oh no, he has sort of shotgun. Can I track her? Oops, I marked some animal. Okay, I will just loot her, I will track down some other animal. Oh, you know what, I will let her run away and then I will loot her. What? I need to loot her. And here we go. Another easy daily challenge. Not even the poker one. Poker works, but the problem is poker is not allowed in uh, some countries. So, like for example, I don't even have a poker table on a, on a map. Let's just loot everybody. I will also check if there are some daily challenges that I can complete. Like easy daily challenges. Is she running away? Not yet. Animals uh, crafted a tonic. It's something uh, I cannot do in a mission, I believe. Deer skinned. Okay, the, we will do it. Defend the campsite. Actually, seen this event but ignored it. So, animal trampled. Let's go and trample some animals. Damn it. Me. Cat is like will play hard to get with bounties. Wow. Oh. So let's let's deliver her to roads. Okay, it actually suggests us to deliver her to roads. But yeah, guys, if 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 you have a poker table, 
It just checks uh, which country you're playing from, like checks your IP. If if you are in one of the countries where you know poker is not allowed, then it, it's not possible to do this poker method in Red Dead Online. But if you are, it's it's a it's a it's a good way to make a solo lobby. But unfortunately, it's not a you cannot do it solo. You need someone to help you to create the solo lobby with poker method. Okay, so, okay. So, so far six minutes. Maybe I will do some daily challenge now. Maybe I will find some animals to trample or maybe deers. Card says, just started Red Dead Online four days ago, and your guides are the best I have ever seen. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I will try to stump. Can I? Okay, it's not the easiest... <laughs> It's not the easiest way to complete this daily challenge, and apparently it it didn't even count. No, I mean I definitely trampled this deer. What upgrades for camp should get first? Uh, for, I don't know. Like the most useful upgrade for your camp is a fast travel post, but unfortunately you can buy it only on level sixty-five. Uh, but it's like it's a must-have like improved campfire is also pretty useful but i'm not quite sure if it's something that like you should buy as soon as possible you know trample chickens yeah i will trample chickens or maybe i will find uh that's an interesting by the way random encounter inside of uh Inside of a uh, infamous bounty mission. Really? Look, them raiders blindsided me, tied me up for some kind of ransom, I suppose. Guess that was paid though, wasn't it? Oh no, she's running! <laughs> she's running away! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. Hurry up! Oh, that might be a fail. I cannot track her down. Yeah, I don't have track and arrow. <laughs> but I at least I helped this corp. So here we go, let's capture her. I cannot track her down, so it's not that type of a mission. I will need to do some... I will think about it in which part of... Like in which part of which infamous bounty chain I can track anim enemies. Anyway, let's go and deliver her at 9 minutes already. HSHM says, I was playing Red Dead Online on PC, but it's really unplayable because of hackers. Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's true. Uh, then I bought PlayStation 5 to play in peace, but now the glitches and bugs are so annoying. Well, hope, hopefully Rockstar will fix bugs and glitches soon, because I said it previously, uh, from SteamDB we know for sure that they're testing some patch and uh, they're working on this patch for for a long time now so you know it's, it's it should be something <clears throat> something some significant changes but unfortunately there is no new content but probably there will be a lot of bug fixes stuff like that Okay, here we go. Oh, I think in this mission I will have... Yeah, in the first mission in Rhodes, uh, I will have to track down an enemy. So, it's a way to complete 
not starting. It's a way to complete this challenge. It's gonna break the game even more. Uh, well, yes, <laughs> it's 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 more likely that you know that they will fix all the issues and the game will become perfect. Most likely with a new patch they will fix something but will break even more things. That's that's true. They probably just put in more dev the water zone again around casino. Yeah, it's like because it's you know it's the most uh, requ requ requested thing in the game. That zone about uh, casino board. I wish rocks are still added content to Red Dead Online. It's said they stopped because Red Dead Redemption 2 is masterpiece of a game. It's absolutely true, and you know the weirdest thing is not only that they stopped adding things to Red Dead Online, but also that they completely abandoned uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. I mean, where is the next gen version? <clears throat> Oh nice, I, I haven't even... I'm still in stealth. They will fix the other bridge. Yeah, actually it's, it's possible that they will fix the other bridge. Uh, you know, bridge glitch is too good to be in Red Dead Online. Too fun to be in Red Dead Online at current stage. So it's... I definitely can see them fixing it. But I mean, jokes aside, it's lag. Okay, guys, I don't know. For according to my data, it's fine. So maybe something with YouTube. Let me know if it's if it's better. It's good now, LNC says. Okay, so guys, if if such lags are happening, like most of the time, it's something with YouTube. Okay, actually, I think this bounty is always I in the same location, right here. Do I have bolas? No, not yet. I ain't carrying on about this. Bam. Did you ever play Red Dead RP servers like GDRP? Uh, no, but I was thinking about it. Like when I thought first thought about. Playing, I, I I wanted to join the most popular server back then, and pretty much the only one. <laughs> but to join it, you uh, literally it's it's easier to get a job than apply for that RP server. Like you have to fill the form, like huge form, mega story, like literally like almost pass an exam, and. Uh, I'm not looking for that much of RP. I'm not like, you know what? I'm I'm I don't really care about RP to be honest. And the reason why I played GTA RP is because it's like the server I was playing was basically not really focused on RP, and it was like GTA Online but better because there are more content. There are like thousand people on the same server dedicated server so cheaters getting banned and stuff like that
Cat, which bounty roll do you recommend? Uh, I mean, there is technically only one bounty roll. Uh, bounty roll. And then you can upgrade it. If you have base bounty roll, you can buy prestigious bounty roll. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let's stomp some animals. Anyway, you can and actually should purchase prestigious bounty roll for another 15 gold bars to unlock 10 more levels. To unlock infamous bounty missions and uh, okay some bandits are attacking me and three legendary bounty missions pretty good one by the way and they will never have burger cards in red m yeah <laughs> I've heard that uh, this RP server that Austin BMX made for Red Dead Online is kinda similar uh, to what I'm looking for because it's not focused on RP too much. So maybe I will give it a try at some point. And you might say, well, it's kind of weird looking for RP server, but without RP. Well, that's like... That's basically looking for Red Dead Online, but better. We, and which is... And the one that is working. And the one that is receiving new content. And RP server is definitely a place to look. <laughs> It's a mini game called Stomp Chicken. Easy. Do I have any other um, daily challenges that I can complete? So, craft a tonic, deer. Oh, oh dear. I forgot to skin deer. Defend the campsite, not, not something I can do. Uh, it's not something... Uh, this one I cannot do in a private lobby. The Defend campsite, it's a random encounter. Probably I will see it. But anyway, let's... Let's just deliver. I... Chiron says, wow, awesome BMX. I remember that time when you did uh, some streams with him back in the day. Yeah, and, and, he, and he actually started like a few years ago started making a rp server and from what i what i've heard it's it's like it's you know like basically like a red dead online but with content and stuff which is the best role for money gain uh def arrow is asking well without a doubt collector is the best role to Grind money. Money, not gold. That's important. Uh, especially if you play solo. <clears throat> like, technically, if you play, like, not even with a group of friends, but if, you, if you're willing to cooperate on Discord servers, you know, on forums with other people and grind together, you can make insane amount of money from trader role. Like, enormous. But if you're playing solo... Collector is by far the best. And here we go, completed this this one. Where is my camp? Oh, my camp is pretty far. Let's place camp a little closer. Small camp. Should be closer now. Ah, not the best point, but let's go craft the tonic and stuff. I face biggest problems in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. You will never sell your horse, totally waste money. Yeah, I, and, and again, I don't understand why. I mean, the thing is, amount of stable stalls that you can get is limited. On, you can get only 10. So Isaac give us an option to sell horses 
that we don't need. And, uh, you know, not for uh, not for the full price, obviously, but at least for something. Or give us more stable stalls. Okay, I, I actually decided to hunt some deers and give uh, the pelts to creeps. Uh. I, I haven't even checked if this oh no it's not a it's not a three star deer. But okay. There are a lot of new players running around with lasso, it's crazy. It's always was like that. Like new players for some reason a lot of them think that it's a GTA Online and <laughs> they run around with lasso and uh trying to i don't even know what they trying to do because like if they throw lasso on you you can easily uh, set yourself free because like it's not a reinforced lasso i'm not sure if buck counts for this daily challenge I think you should create a separate channel for GTA 6. I don't think it it, it makes any difference, to be honest. So the, the thing is how YouTube works. If uh, some of my viewers are not interested in GTA 6, they will not even know that I'm making videos about GTA 6. And if I will get some new viewers that only interested in GTA 6, YouTube will not recommend them videos about Red Dead Online. If Red Dead Online will still be a thing. <laughs> you know, if Rockstar will not shut it down completely. Karo UK says, I think it's learned behavior because it's happened to them. Well, uh, the thing is, I think that if high level attacks a low level, most of the time he's not gonna be using lasso he will just shut low level like usually high level griefers simply shoot you in most cases so i need i need i still need few more oh you know what let's take this opossum He pretends that he's dead. I like that uh, there is a, such a small detail, but now he will stop pretending, actually. Well, it's so fun to kill new players who think that Red Dead Online is GTA Online. Uh, I actually think that such players who think that Red Dead Online is GTA Online, they don't stay in Red Dead Online for long. They, or, you know what, they either change their behavior, because, you know, it's literally, with experience, they learn that it's absolutely useless and bad idea, like, you you cannot attack high level players they will just kill you and uh, lasso will be removed in the seconds so okay i placed it pretty much in the same spot why don't you get the improved bow because it's more expensive and i'm a low level and i have only 360 dollars now Like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do fine with regular ball at the beginning. And I still, you know, the best part about uh, improved bow is uh, not only its uh, painted black range, but uh, the fact that you can customize it. And as a low level, I will not be able to customize it just because I don't have money. 
Oh, wrong weapon. I wanted to switch to a sniper rifle, but I don't have sniper rifle. Actually, uh, when I played Red Dead Online on PlayStation, I saw that there were 27 players out of 30. You want to know why? It's because last month, in February, Red Dead Redemption 2 was the best, the most downloadable game on PlayStation among um, PlayStation 4 games. You know, it has no next-gen version, so it's a PlayStation 4 game. It it even it was downloaded more than minecraft for i i see it for the first time in both which is also interesting in both united states and europe that's why so many new players you see let's start a local delivery it will help us to deliver 25 goods If you avoid Valentine and Saint Denis, the chances to face any griefers in Red Dead Online are pretty low. Well, technically, technically, there are, for some reason, I, I'm not sure why, but there are enormous amount of low-level griefers, specifically in roads. Like always. Valentine is a place for high-level griefers. Just like Saint Denis. But your chances of seeing low-level griefer a higher in roads for some I don't know why <laughs> do you think it's because a lot of people got PlayStation 5 for Christmas maybe it's but you know it's a part of uh, GTA 6 hype and there was a discount in February on Red Dead Redemption 2 I, I guess a lot of people really finally bought PlayStation 5 and, you know, even if you buy Red Dead Redemption 2 on PlayStation 5, it still counts as a PlayStation 4 game. But probably that's why. What's up? Nice to catch your stream. Your wits has been helping me to get back in Red Dead Online a bit. Hello there. Griefers also have moved to Tumbleweed. Well, it's still like your if you if you're looking for griefers, go to Valentine uh, because the, I don't know if it's a bug or feature, but when you are in Valentine, you can see any long distance deliver on the map. It's just that's why uh, a lot of griefers are just basically living in Valentine and just fighting each other. Oh, I agree. Today I met low live low level griefers in roads, but they couldn't kill me because I'm always in defensive. But thanks to you, <laughs> yeah. Like if you are in defensive, there is nothing at all low level can do to you nothing i kyron says it's definitely a feature cat trust me i also think that it's a feature you know to encourage uh, uh players attack each other which is not even i i cannot say encourage griefing because it's not a griefing technically when you attack someone's uh, long distance delivery I uh, like you know by definition it's not griefing because it's something that game tells you to do and by doing so you get uh, some profit so it cannot be considered a griefing but yeah rocks are I think that you know the idea was that they should force people to do PvP as much as possible because uh, that's how people will be buying gold bars. Just like in GTA Online, you know. People buying shard cards. Let's start this mission. I don't remember it 
at all. But sorry, which well let's let's start let's start timer. Uh, which level I'm in a in a bounty hunter role? I think level ten or something. Level six or only. And level three in trader. Why is the poll in GMT? Why not? Why in some other time zone? Like I, I have to pick some time zone, right? I pick GMT. Thanks for the stream, says Moonshine, but I have to go. See ya. See ya next time. And by the way, guys, thanks to everyone who placed a like already. Okay, go to hunting grounds. Here we go. I don't, I don't remember this mission at all. This is John Marston talking to us. Can I kill them? Not sure if it was necessary. So anyway, I shoot a three caged animal. So it feels like a... Oh, no, 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 no. It feels like a mission we are doing for Harriet. Okay, so here we go. Caged animal. Okay, it's a deer. Nice. 198 views and 207 likes. Well... Nice, nice results. Mark's channel says, Hi, cat. Hello there. And here we go. So, it's literally the mission that we do for Harriet. So, can I? Can I shoot it from here? I hope that there will be some... Some wolf or something. Gold bars should have been unlocked content like roles, properties and sp specialty items. Unfortunately, no more outlaw passes and new role content. Yeah, as for outlaw passes, it's another, you know, big mi mistake, uh, in my opinion, from Rockstar. I mean, if they are not making new outlaw passes, they should have at least... Uh, brought back old oh that was a nice nice jump okay and the last one I hope it's not a bear in this cage or something let's let's get oh it was a deer as well bounty has arrived nice that was epic yeah so where is where is the bounty Okay, bounty is there. I will tr I will kill him last. There you go, bounty.
let's hit, let's knock him down, and there we go. Uh, Mark says, I got another patch today on Steam for Red Dead Redemption. What about that? Anybody know? No, there were no, I think there were no, like, real patch today. So it's, it's just some random stuff. Bought the saddle. Yeah, I have Nacogdoches. Take a look. That's Nacogdoches. Still leveling up uh, bonding level on this horse, but I have Nacogdoches at least. Let's go and deliver him. Five minutes. So we will deliver him and well, you know what let's go to Valentine there is uh, we have enough time to go to Valentine and deliver him there failed to place a mark now let's go did you get the legend of the West trophy no I'm not a not a completionist or how it's called. So now let's just ride. Oh, random encounter, I think. It might be a treasure hunter. Yeah! Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall off the cliff. Yeah, it was a treasure hunter. That what I was talking about. Such random encounters. Kat, what do you think of all the roles in Red Dead Online, and do you think there should be another role? Uh, well, actually, I think that it would be nice if Rockstar will add another role. On the other hand, it's not necessary to add new content in the form of role. Like, for example, you can add properties in the form of a uh, uh, rancher role, right? Or you might just add properties and make them purchasable. Not not necessary to have a role, but it's just one of the options. Same with heists. They can add heists without adding role. Like a bandit role. It kinda sounds stupid, bandit role. Uh, but I mean, Rockstar decided to test this system, system with roles and I'm not quite sure if they're happy with test results. Cat, have you burned NPC before? Happened, yeah. Just as a part of testing, you know. Boss of Rockstar role would be good. <laughs> Boss of Rockstar. Okay, do you think Rockstar should add either gender swap or multiple characters like in GTA Online for Red Dead Online? Well, I definitely think they should m multiple characters. Like, it's, it's really, I have no idea why there are no multiple character slots. It should be. In the game. Lee Kavala says, I just turned on Xbox, there are 23 gigabyte. Well, I, I played on Xbox today and so no, uh, no patch or something. Maybe it was just added while we streaming. I don't know. Uh, hope, hoping you can still answer my question from above. Do you get different number of meat depending on if skin is three star animal? No. Uh, like how it works on, for example, on alligators. It doesn't matter how, uh, how good 
alligator carcasses, like uh, quality one, two or three star. If you kill alligator properly, like without ruining pelt quality, you will receive five pieces of meat, uh, big game meat. And if you will kill him not properly, like with tomahawk, uh, I don't know, uh, many shots from carbine repeater, you will receive three. So that's how what uh, you know affects how much materials you will get. Not the quality of uh, of a carcass. So yeah, do perfect kills. Okay, guys, let me let me check this information about patch on PC. Nah. Nothing was released, no patch was released, so there should not be anything like that. Oh wait, I, have, I haven't completed infamous bounty here. Oh sorry, sorry. Uh, now I will have to kill him. And run away. Or maybe I, w I can go back. Like, apparently no one is... Uh, e there are no witnesses somehow. Bounty board, yeah. Let's try. Why is the game quality low? The game quality is not low, it's uh, it's high ultra. And maybe the stream quality is low. That's possible. Are you planning to make videos on GTA 6 when it releases? Probably yeah, because I'm pretty sure uh, that GTA 6 will be a an interesting game at least so i'm really looking forward to it and gta 6 online also i will definitely try do you think red dead online will fade away completely i mean it's it's already abandoned completely <clears throat> uh, some people will still be playing so uh if rockstar will go back from doing nothing to doing something after gta 6 will be released well i highly doubt that just because i don't even think that uh rocks uh, you know the fact that they abandoned red dead online has much to do with gta 6 in the first place <clears throat> so Yeah, guys, let me know in the chat. Is uh, stream, like, uh, quality of the picture is really low? Because maybe I do have some issues. Or oh, it's fine. As for, you know, as for Full HD. Cat, you played Clucking Bell. Uh, why not stream it too? Two birds, one stone. I don't know. No, I, I really don't know why I decided just to play it without streaming. I mean, I already have quite a lot of streams uh, nowadays. What? Tommy says, I started timer for you. Oh, I forgot to start the timer again. Fine as wine. Bitrate is a little low, but there is only so much you can do to fix that. Fine for me, fine. Okay, so apparently the quality is not like terribly low and it's good enough for me. Okay, now we will have the fun part. <coughs>
If GTA 6 releases, they must be busy on debugging your online DLC. Yeah, they will be busy with GTA 6. With fixing it, with adding uh, some content for online, with, uh, like with GTA 6, basically, for a long time. So, it's not, it's not like they will release GTA 6 and will have resources and go back to uh, Red Dead Online. No, not gonna happen. No, it's nice quality, they just want to know what PC specs you have. I don't remember, honestly, which PC specs I have. Okay, here we go. I like this mission because here you can do pretty cool, like, in one shot kill almost all the NPCs. Uh, but I will have to wait until he will dismount first. I don't remember if I will just kill NPCs. Will he start riding away or not? And let's kill his horse as well. Which is weird, his horse is, is alive. And that's it. Mission is over. Not yet technically, but you know. I think rocks are abandoned Red Dead Online because it didn't make money as take to expect it. Well, I don't know what they've been expecting, but... Uh, let's look at, uh, on this realistically. Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the best selling games in history. It sold enormous amount of copies. And uh, from what we know, a lot of people are actually buying gold. Despite the fact that there was no real reasons in Red Dead Online to buy gold. But people still are buying gold. So, Red Dead Online is profitable it has a huge potential player base because more than 60 million people bought red dead redemption 2 so they can play this game so what rockstar should have done is to add content worth paying money for that's it so simple instead of trying to make stupid prices in in an empty game at beta like think about it mauser pistol cost one thousand dollars and like there were no rolls nothing maximum you can make is around like 150 200 dollars per hour that's that was a greedy and stupid strategy obviously it failed so I don't know what they were expecting, if you are correct, and they really expected Red Dead Online to be more profitable. Like... And it still can be profitable. Just I will tell you how, you know what? I, I Like, super simple idea that will 100% works. Remove stupid Capitale, uh, rework economics in a way that... You know, it would be easier to earn gold and earn money, especially from the beginning. And keep all the content in the game. One change only. Add outlaw passes, new outlaw passes and returning outlaw passes. Let's say one out new outlaw pass each season, each three months and just all other outlaw passes available in the shop, like all previous. But uh, I don't know with discount and sell them for real money only rework the game use this money that you will get from selling outlaw passes to create some content that people asking for 
you know, heists, properties, stuff like that. And just sell cosmetics from Outlaw Passes for real money. But, you know, other cosmetics as well, for, for gold and money. What do you think? Would this work? So, three steps. Step one, rework economics in the game. Make it easier for beginners to start the game. Remove this stupid payout that you complete a mission and receive $10. No, remove it. Forget about it. Don't, uh, you know, force beginners to buy gold bars. It's not working. Second step, add content for higher levels, something that people were asking for. Robberies properties. Step number three, add cosmetics that people could only buy with real life money in form of outlaw passes. Add more French to Red and Dead Online. <laughs> I, I don't know how that would help, but okay, if you if you asking. The the biggest problem is Rockstar really decided to simply repeat GTA Online with their monetization system. You know, their monetization system with GTA Online is pretty simple. They try to sell share cards to beginners, to people who only started the game. There is no way they can sell any share card to anyone who already have like few businesses in Kaya stuff like that. So they tried to monetize only beginners and they repeated it exactly in Red Dead Online, but it's a different game. Here you have to capitalize, to monetize people who enjoy playing this game and willing to spend hundreds and thousand hours in it, not beginners. Do not, uh, you know, scare away beginners with stupid prices, with stupid payouts, uh, with, you know, making the game more difficult than it is oh yeah capitalize <laughs> how would players earn money if not pro from missions they would earn from missions but payout should be much higher i uh i Kyron says, I actually think they should sold roles as paid DLC. I don't like this idea because it's basically pay to win. Uh, so, in my opinion, you know, selling cosmetics for money, absolutely fine. Selling, uh, like, content, real content for money is a little bit worse unless it's a DLC. But it's just like, I think, you know, my point is, like, imagine, they will start selling outlaw passes for real-life money. Do you think they will not sell them? Do you think there are not enough players even now that will buy outlaw passes with real-life money, like spending 5 or 10 dollars one in three months to receive cool cosmetics? And if they will add uh, content that people are asking for, highest properties and maybe even Mexico, then there will be much more players. Like, it will increase player base anyway, so that's that's how I see it. 11 minutes, so let's wait a little bit. I think I have enough ammo. Yeah, I still have arrows, still have ammo. It's not like crucial to go and pick it up immediately. Okay, you know what? Let, let's start a new poll. First of all, let's finish that one. And poll. Uh, so, best time for streams. Interestingly enough, 5 p.m. is like almost the le least favorite option. 
even 4 p.m. has more views and the apparently the best uh, time for viewers is 6 p.m. but maybe it's because I started this stream at 6 p.m. so you know there are mostly people who can watch uh, the stream at 6 p.m. 12 minutes done so anyway new poll so will you buy outlaw pass with real with real money and there will be options yes even now yes if game will get support by get support i mean all that stuff you know not only fixing bugs and glitches but also adding new content highest properties stuff like that and no I, i'm not i'm just not gonna buy pass will you buy outlaw pass with real money so here we go so option yes is like even so even if like rockstar will add outlaw pass right now you still gonna buy it. Okay, let's deliver now. It's more than it's more than Another twenty minutes. Stain on the reputation of this county all set to be wiped clean. Throw them in the cell. And one fair price for you. Hi, Kyron says, actually an outlaw pass from time to time sold by Rockstar with real of money wouldn't be a great, uh, wouldn't, would have been a great idea like Fortnite does. But the guys that work on Fortnite work hard for that money. That's exactly what I mean. Give people content, give people game without stupid bugs and then sell them cosmetics with money. That's how monetization uh system should look like like fortnite is doing don't do what rockstar are doing with gta online it worked only because like way too many people are playing gta online and and uh, and even in, in this case i think they would earn more money with more traditional uh mon monetization system and in red dead online they should definitely first give people content and uh, you know fix bugs and then ch try to get money from them it's not like rockstar like think about it rockstar release released an absolutely empty game in 2018 it was beta and you know what they had working in beta shop where they were selling gold for money in an empty game with stupid prices with no money making methods like now you you at least have roles you can grind money you have daily challenges you can grind gold back then you had nothing you can only shoot birds and earn like 150 200 dollars per hour and prices were higher than now it's it's a greedy extremely greedy and lazy tactics that obviously failed and I mean, it's still people were buying Welcome gold. Cat, even if rocks are added the outlaw pass, what will be the meaning behind it? What 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 kind of meaning? Meaning is pretty simple. They support game. They sell cosmetics. People who enjoy it buy it for money. Just like like what kind of meaning okay let's go to camp and see maybe uh, maybe if there is a resupply required or I need some materials because I was not paying attention to messages actually yeah resupply let's start resupply mission because it's 500 experience points so I heard some of our competitors have gone missing would you go see if you can track them down feels like the 
important thing to do. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to them, but if it has, well, no point in letting their supplies go to waste. Always look for the silver line. I mean, even with existing uh, system, a lot of people are buying gold bars, like way more than you might think. And there we go. And yeah, guys, I, I think that now it's more than 200 likes. I, I'm not sure. But in any way, thanks to everyone who placed a like. Let's feed a horse. They should let you work on Red Dead Online. You actually know what people want to play. They know what people want to play as well. They are not stupid. Uh, like, they are lazy maybe, but not stupid. I mean, it's not that hard to know what people want to see in Red Dead Online. It's just like, for some reason, maybe as a sabotage, who knows. Uh, but Rockstar are not doing it. Search area for supplies. Two hundred and sixty one like actually. Well thanks to everyone who placed a like who still watches and obviously as always to all my YouTube membership supporters and Okay, what is going on here? And Patreon supporters. That's it. How many shots do I need to make? Okay. That's better. Rank 37, which is nice. Unfortunately, it's a bug with supplies. Unfortunately, because it gives you less materials. <clears throat> but... At least this mission is, like, really easy. Levy says, the other day I got noticed Rockstar needs your help. You have an undetectable bug or something. I hit home, quit game. The fact catastrophic bug might occur makes me not take this game seriously. Well, in every game bug uh, bugs uh, happen. But the, the question is, uh, is company actually fixing these bugs and you know what the example that you just uh, showed us that rockstar is at least asking about like these bugs from players it's 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 at least something good because like it's a new thing relatively new thing such message uh, they started uh, started players started to receive such message only like few years ago before that Rockstar didn't really even try to collect such data. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to deliver the bag. Uh... People don't need a uh, good old jump is saying people don't need to buy gold since there are more than enough cheaters in valentine uh who give you treasures but they still are well first of all not everyone is playing on pc most players are playing on console uh second like if there are a lot of cheaters in valentine you don't need to buy gold not because they will give you gold but because this game is infected with cheaters and they will not let you play and enjoy this game. So it doesn't matter how much gold you have. Your experience still will be uh, not the best one. So if you're playing on PC, obviously don't buy gold bars. Because like Rockstar is not doing anything about cheaters. That's the issue. And which is kind of interesting. I think that Rockstar never even thought that people on PC will be buying gold bars too often 
<laughs> and you know why? Because uh, there is a special special offer on console. For five dollars, you can buy you can buy twenty five gold bars. One time offer. Who's who's shooting me? Not quite sure if it's an ambush. Apparently, yes. Oh, I can kill them by the way with the ball. Ah, I cannot mark them from such distance. Okay. So anyway, there is a special offer on consoles, uh, $5 for 25 gold bars. And this offer was never a thing on PC. Never a thing. And uh, like a lot of people used this offer. And paid additional $5. But not on PC. You know why? Because they knew that PC will be in a terrible, terrible shape. So they never even cared. Don't forget to craft tonic. Yeah, exactly. Wait, did you say five dollars for twenty-five gold bars on console? If I remember correctly, yes. Uh, guys, who who purchased uh, such? Who used such offer on consoles? Let me know in the chat if, if I'm correct. If it's really five dollars for twenty-five gold, because I'm pretty sure that it is. I forgot. I used this. Uh, I used this offer as well, and not because I needed gold at that moment. I didn't need any gold already, uh, but I thought like. You know what? I'm 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 just gonna support Rockstar. I'm gonna support creators of this game because I play it, I enjoy it. So I will just give them at least some money additionally. I was wrong. It's a stupid idea. It doesn't work. They don't care. Don't do this. Don't be like me. Don't think that if you will, you know, buy gold bars, Rockstar will say like, Oh, nice, gold bars, someone are buying, we have money, let's make more content. You know what they see when you buy gold bars? They see following situation. Oh, we are doing nothing and people are still buying gold bars, nice. Let's continue. Let's make even less. That's that's how it works, unfortunately. Okay, Angry Ossie says, This is Cat. Cat bought 25 gold bars from 5... <laughs> Don't be like Cat. Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> Tommy says, uh, can you tag multiple NPCs with bow? No, no. And yes, I bought 25 gold for 4.99. Yeah, so it's exactly this. Uh, this offer is exactly how I said, like five dollars for 25 gold bars. Get there are a lot of mints here. I don't need them because I have maximum amount of mint. I think. Okay. And there we go. We have some materials. We can go and grind. Bounty Hunter. Continue. Hmm. Oh, I completed in Valentine mission just now. It still should be on cooldown. So let's go to... No, I think I completed a uh, mission in Wallace Station as well. 
Okay, let's go back to Emerald Station, maybe there. Cooldown is over. Why are you playing on PC again? Isn't it filled with hackers? It is, it is filled with hackers, but at least here you can create a private lobby solo lobby the problem is i like usually i play on console but for the last few years actually more than a year like for sure pretty much on all all my streams stream snipers are joining and trying to you know somehow interact uh, and it's like I don't really care about that, but obviously I cannot make this series of streams when I'm leveling up my character because if stream snipers will be, you know, stream sniping, then uh, I'm not gonna be able to level up without problems. That's why I had only one choice to play on PC. Cat got bored of 30 FPS on crappy console. Actually, you know what? It's it's really interesting, but uh, how it works. When you play on console for a long time, you are absolutely fine with 30 FPS. Like at least I, uh, absolutely no problem. Like yeah, 30 FPS, but you play lo game looks nice and like you don't feel that it's 30 FPS. But after you will play on PC for at least few hours with 60 FPS and then go back to a console with 30 FPS for like, it, it will be immediately like, oh no, my eyes, what's, what's wrong with this game? Why, why it so, looks so bad? But then you get used to it and again, like, few hours and you don't care about the fact that there are 30 fps especially since it's not a first person shooter you know Okay, let's go. Do you play on PC or console? Right now I'm playing on PC. 278 likes and 200 viewers. Nice, maybe we will even get 300 likes while on the stream. It's actually... No, you know what, like 300 likes is a good result for my streams and 200 viewers is a smaller amount of viewers than usually. So it's pretty cool that viewers are placing a lot of likes. How I didn't kill that dude. And he's still not dead. I will... I will capture her first. Pathfinder oh, says, uh, man, I play on console on a 85 TV and I think it looks amazing laying back to a recliner and gaming is 100% uh, worth it yeah but you still like just go to a PC with 60 or more FPS and you will feel the difference I'm not saying that playing on console is like you know not comfortable it is but like the difference between 30 and 60 fps is real but you only feel it really when switching from 60 fps to 30 fps you don't even see uh, at least i i don't even see this difference 
too much when I switch from 30 FPS to 60 FPS. So there is like no nothing like wow, this game is completely different. No, it, it you definitely see that it's more comfortable, but it's not there is no wow effect. But when you switch in from 60 to 30, well, then you see the difference. I also like playing on PC because of mouse and a keyboard. It's it's a really fun part. Okay, so let's loot them. Still have plenty of time. And as always, I forgot to start a timer. So typical. Actually, if I was not on the stream, I would probably not forgot this. Torian says, I have 80 to 100 FPS on my PC. I found great graphics settings that I applied and it works great. Yeah, like if you have a decent PC, you can get an extremely good picture in Red Dead Redemption 2. You cannot beat a mouse for accuracy and speed. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, auto aim is not a big deal. Especially in this game, you know, where uh, sniper rifles are extremely powerful. Sniper rifles are just overpowered in Red Dead uh, in Red Dead Online. That's it. Karkana rifle is by far the best weapon. DPS is enormous. Is Rockstar still working on Steam DB? Yep. They they were working this week as well. I mean, you don't you don't have uh, auto aim, but the thing is, you have painted black. <laughs> if you have a mouse and the painted black, you don't need auto aim. It's like literally unnecessary. What did they do on SteamDB? They're testing some patch, I assume. And they're testing for quite some time already, but not releasing it. It, it At this point, it even looks kind of weird. I mean, it's just too much testing for not doing anything. Because uh, since the beginning of January, they're testing something like four days a week. They obviously don't work on Sundays and uh, Saturdays. But almost every working day, they doing some changes, testing something. But, you know, nothing is being released yet. They are biting, yeah, maybe. Trolling, I would even say trolling. I think we will get a big patch for bugs and maybe 60 FPS on console. I don't think it has anything to do with 60 FPS on consoles. I mean, if there will be 60 FPS on consoles, it will be not a free patch. It will be next gen version. Oops, sorry. Okay. How did I miss that shot? I like that uh, police officers completely ignore this. Red Dead Redemption 1 also got 360 FPS patch. Red Dead Redemption 1 got 360 FPS patch for a full price next gen version. Like, they literally sold Red Dead Redemption 1 on PlayStation 4 for a full price and then release the 60 FPS for it. 
So it's basically like they should have had 60 FPS in that next gen version from the start. But they, for some reason, released this 60 FPS in the form of a free patch next month. It's a different situation. But basically, they sold the next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 1 to PlayStation players and Switch players as well. They not, like, th this 60 FPS is not given for free. It's given for free for people who just bought this game for a full price. It's a different thing. Is Bounty Hunter level up your ability cards too? Yeah, all experience, like from all the roles, counts for leveling up uh, ability cards. Because I tried that at Doyle when it's double XP, but my ability cards doesn't increase. So that's weird. They should. Like, uh, but just keep, you know, reminding you that to level up ability cards, you have to have this ability card that you leveling up uh, equipped. You only get experience for ability cards that you have equipped at the moment. So just, just in case. But uh, all experience should count. Are there servers for Red Dead Redemption 1? Uh, it's not servers, it also uses peer-to-peer -peer connection, but uh, this uh, next-gen version don't have multiplayer at all. If I remember correctly. What? Oh, so the dead body was still there. Okay, time to run away. The hell's the matter with you? Can anyone tell me what level cat is now? I can tell you. Wait, not now because I have a lot of useless messages. But wait, 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 wait. 37, still 37. Marco says, I do new ability cards on that. Uh, yeah, it works. You can level uh, up ability cards this way. And actually shoot level up like collector roll the best way to level up uh, ability card if you have it some new if you just bought some new ability card is collector roll obviously because collector roll brings you enormous amount of experience and all that experience for picking up collectibles for selling sets to madame nazar all that you can use to level up ability cards And there we go. Do you play on PC? Yes. Okay, this alligator is annoying. And there we go. Uh, let's place a camp somewhere around. Just, you know, where is it? Not really around, but still. Playing on PC at the moment and cheaters are so annoying, says D E W. Well, yeah, cheaters, unfortunately, it's a huge problem for PC and rocks are not really doing anything. I mean, it, it's kind of funny, but they made a bond wave, uh, I believe, in November. <laughs> and the f fun part is they banned innocent players, but not cheaters. So a lot of innocent players were banned and for the first time ever Rockstar even admitted it and lifted bans. 
despite the fact that they even have in like uh, in terms of service they even say that they ban decision is final and is not gonna change so but for the first time ever they admitted that they ban people like by mistake but in any way they banned uh, mostly innocent players is it hard to hit level 1000 legit well it takes like two two and a half thousand hours of grind i would say like so it's possible but I think most people who have level 1000 were either using glitches or which is more likely cheats if you meet them on PC but you know it's possible some people with level 1000 definitely get there without glitches but probably they were collecting stuff almost every day because collector roll again is the best way to get experience finally finally i increased bonding level for this new horse let's it's actually not hungry Your personal camera video is not clean mate it should be clean i don't know maybe something is broken let me check i don't know looks looks pretty clean to me maybe it's not in focus Yet I have a friend that level 1000 she collects a lot and help friends in selling yeah like if uh, but it's uh, it's a few thousand of collecting stuff few thousand hours <laughs> is that red Turkoman yep mini blue says hi cat and chat hello there hmm I think I completed. Oh, uh, I have to go to Saint Denis and complete uh, Infamous Bounty. There is at the 1000 the highest level. Yeah, it's a level cup. You cannot go higher than level 1000, but you probably won't reach level 1000 anyway, just like most people. Because it's too too much of grind, but if someone enjoys, uh, uh, you know, collecting stuff or achieving some almost unachievable things, well, such people might reach level one thousand without using glitches or bugs. And I'm pretty sure that such people exist. But I still I still think that if you see level one thousand on PC. It's probably a cheater. <clears throat> Zane says, your videos are extremely informative. I stopped playing last year, but after watching your videos and guides, jumped back and read that online and enjoyed it. So thank you. Well, I'm glad that you enjoying it. Unfortunately, rocks are not doing anything. So, you know, to make people jump back, uh, they, they don't want people to jump back. Apparently. Okay, th th this mission is not the best. I actually should have started uh, infamous bounty chains in some different locations. But I decided to, to do it here because like, it's a good place for hunting, for getting materials. So I placed a camp. Unpopular opinion, says Caesar. Rockstar gets too much hate from Red Dead community. Well, I would say it's unpopular opinion. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's unpopular opinion. And, and also, you know what? I don't understand why people are using word hate in such, in such situations. Not, you, you see, there is a big difference between critique and hate. Uh, like, what is the difference between someone who criticizing and just hating? Person who criticizing will definitely show some problems, will point them, but when something is done right, such person will say, oh yeah, now I have to give credit to them, to Rockstar in this, uh, in this case, they did something right. So such person is not hater, right? And from what I see, most people in Red Dead Redemption community, in Red Dead Online community, are not haters. They admit when Rockstar is doing something stupid, which is quite often. But when Rockstar are doing something good, like, I don't know, Call to Arms. Call to Arms, I enjoyed it. Like, many people enjoyed it. Uh, People say like, oh yeah, I, I actually like what Rockstar did here, I think it's a smart change or something. On the other hand, haters, they always hate. They, in best case scenario, they will not even, they will not, will not mention something good, but always will mention something bad. So anyway, my point is, I don't think that word hate in... Uh, in this case is like the correct one actually i have 10 minutes to go and to get some materials or something maybe i'll find collectible let's get a little bit materials from alligators as well Mini Blue says Crips doesn't accept beaver teeth. I have only 20, only shows at the butcher. I don't know. To be honest, I never tried to give beaver teeth to, to Crips. No likes, no Tahiti, says Louise. Yeah, oh, by the way, I had to buy. Ah, I forgot. I had to buy a uh, woman trifle ammo. Let's kill this alligator. When do you usually stream? I usually stream on Sunday around 5 p.m. GMT. But right now uh, since i'm doing this level one to level 100 series of streams i also stream a few more times a week usually on wednesday or friday what why i cannot it's because we are in a mission or why? I, ca I cannot stop. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a trap. Where is it? I don't know why exactly I was not able. Let's try again. I was not able to stove uh, this bird carcass okay apparently it's because i'm in a mission so we have only only one option is to skin it you are next to the water usually it's not a problem Florida cat. Since new patch, my game crashed. What part? Pa what patch are we talking about? The one that was released uh, at the beginning of February. Because I saw these messages about new patch few times already. 
it's a bug in the swamps yeah probably some bug uh since a new patch my game crashed two times it seems to be unstable before the patch did that didn't happen on pc well before the patch i, I couldn't play at all on pc i was playing for a few minutes and then my game was crashing so uh, for me and actually for many players patch uh, improved situation i mean there are still bugs like for example sometimes when i use wilderness uh, wilderness camp <coughs> yeah, it crashes but not always because before it was always No, I will not be. Let's pick him up. Is it possible that developer p team that ported Red Dead Redemption 1 now working on Red Dead Redemption 2? I don't think so. It's not... Uh, it's a different tasks. Plus, uh, you know, yesterday I think they released a patch for Red Dead Redemption 1. So they're still working on Red Dead Redemption 1 and fixing issues, you know, and problems with, uh, with that port. I will find you, you little shit. But speaking about that, I think it would be a great idea if Rockstar will outsource Red Dead Online and maybe even next gen version of red dead redemption 2 uh hey cat want to ask you can rockstar ban me for playing in solo lobby well they can technically because it's it's super easy to detect if you're playing in solo lobby on pc like it's like if they can find some uh something it would be solo lobby but on the other hand this solo lobby method is extremely old it's more than it's like from the same moment when rockstar released game on pc in 2020 no in 2019 actually it happened in 2019 since then this method is working and many people are using it and from what i know no one was ever banned so my answer is like yes you can get banned but probably will not <clears throat> so slowly but leveling up Bounty Hunter roll. Let, let's check, by the way. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. Can you make a new character on a used account, or you have to make a new account? Well, uh, you can delete your old character and uh, lose all the progress, all the items. You only keep money and gold. But you cannot make a new character on the same account. So either delete your character or... Uh, what do I need? Materials now. Or buy a new account. For example, to play on PC, to start a new character, I purchased another copy of Red Dead Redemption 2. Because it was cheaper than Red Dead Online. You're right, the word hate is used too much often and doesn't match the word that we used. Yeah, I mean, I see it all the time, like any critique, any negativity, not even, not necessarily a critique, any negativity is uh, labeled as hate for some reason. And in my opinion, hate is a little bit too much of a strong word to use it in situations like that. Okay. I think I'm running out of materials. I have some. Not, you know, the maximum amount of materials I can get from this, but at least something. Let's pay the bounty and collect some deliveries 
What's your favorite Red Dead Redemption 2 city? I, I don't know. I, they're all pretty cool in my opinion. Well well done by Rockstar. Obviously, Saint Denis is uh, like the biggest city, most detailed and uh, like a lot of work was done. It looks great. I don't like this location for camp. It's a little bit like it's too far from alligators, but uh, you know, there are not too many animals, like almost no animals here at the same time. I mean, there are some alligators here usually, but not now. How often should you clean your weapon? Uh, before PvP or uh, Call to Arms. Before something challenging. Like in most... Or if you just like to clean your weapons, so then clean them as, as much as you want. Uh, but just my point is, like, if it's not something challenging, if it's not, you know, it's just a regular missions in Red Dead Online, then you might use dirty weapons like you will be fine it's better to have clean weapons obviously they are much much more effective but is this one Any, any, any three? Oh, another three star. Ah. Whoops. I should use the sniper rifle. Oh no, now it's. <clears throat> now it's getting away. Why I cannot lasso? Weird. Should have killed him faster. Be careful, cougar in your area. <laughs> yeah. It, actually, if it will attack me, it will probably kill me, because I, I have only bow. And no the die. Anyway, let's deliver this. Cleaning weapon is such a stupid mechanic in, re in Red Dead Online. I don't know, I actually... I think it's fine. It's, uh, it's for immersion and realism. Uh, but the problem is, I think that weapons are losing condition way too fast. Oh no. Is rocks are going to return Outlaw Pass? Gleb is asking. I, I don't know. I, I mean, they should do it in my opinion. It's an easy money. But they're not... They haven't done it, you know, still. So... At this point, it's even hard to tell what uh, rocks are even planning and if they are planning anything. <clears throat> hey, uh, are to run low, just so you know. What would you think about Rockstar doing Red Dead Redemption 1 remake? Uh, I would I would like to see it. I mean, 
it's actually again it's 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 so weird if you think about it that rockstar decided to make uh not even a remaster but next gen version of red dead redemption one but only for playstation 4 and switch not even for pc it just like makes no sense and you know making red dead redemption one on on a red dead redemption 2 engine is such a an obvious idea and they can make so much money from it that it just it just makes no sense after 19th do you reckon they will bring some benefits and coupons yeah in a in a new monthly event there will be new bonuses and coupons it, it happened before like it's not the first time bonuses are expiring in red dead online it it means nothing is just like rockstar for some reason loves to reset uh these coupons every march if rockstar remakes red dead redemption one they need to swap swap red hollow with uncle from red dead redemption 2 no they should not swap it they should not change anything plus uh, red harlow is in in a different game it's uh, he's not in red dead redemption 1 plus he's not he's not all uncle wait that guy that looked like uncle it it was literally uncle he's in red dead redemption one as well will you make content about gta 6 in 2025 probably probably yes Okay, what, what kind of event do we have here? What is this? Oh, it's a hideout. Let's go. I, ha I haven't seen hideouts in, uh, in public lobbies for quite some time now. They're just not happening. It's not, you know, if you think about it, this event is kind of weird because there is no special award for killing all the bandits. You just kill them and that's it but let's go oh I, I, oh I need to kill them with a bow I forgot Oh, well, they... Pretty aggressive they are. I, I, I want to kill this machine gun dude with a sniper rifle because... I don't really see him with the ball. Can I explode this barrel? Yeah, with the ball. So now, now let's loot everyone because sometimes the bodies disappear. And I believe that uh, back in beta, some YouTubers were claiming 
that each time when you kill a leader of a hideout you get a treasure map which was obviously not true and it was like i immediately tested it and it, it was just not working <clears throat> but at some point it was like almost a common knowledge i don't know why probably because you know in a in a tutorial our first treasure map we are getting from a gang leader anyway let's let's test it now right let's kill him and loot him so no treasure map not surprised So how what is what is my progress looking like? So level thirty seven, not bad. And here we we have level seven and almost level five, which is good. Actually quite I need to focus on uh, grinding bounty hunter. and yes i will definitely have enough gold because i think i have a lot of treasure maps already i will need to collect them uh but that's something that i'm gonna be doing on the next stream as a next step in this level one to level 100 journey and uh with that being said thanks to everyone who placed a like more than 300 likes already and thanks to everyone who visited the stream uh so stay safe stay healthy and uh, goodbye see you next time